Hey everyone, I'm Caleb. And I'm Keenan. And some of you guys may not know this, but we're actually brothers. And we kind of look alike too. Yep. This is our first video, our first YouTube video actually together. In the 60 some YouTube videos we've made, we've never been in the same video together other than I think the Grip Olympics. But yeah. that was kind of like everyone. So this is a this is a first for us. And, uh, this is kind of exciting. So. And it wasn't planned like that. It just all of a sudden we said like, wow, we haven't actually done a video together. So we're gonna jump into the threefold Q&A. And this can be a video series. If you guys like it, let us know what you think in the comments below if you think we should keep doing these. But we asked you guys to leave some questions for us on the latest YouTube video, in the YouTube community channel, and on Instagram. So we're gonna be diving into those and uh, answering as many as we can and uh, get you guys informed. Let's jump into it. One of the biggest questions that we got and uh, that we kept seeing over and over from a lot of different people was how Threefold started. And Threefold started with Caleb and I back in 2013. And we also started in basically Keenan's apartment. We did not have an office right away. It was a one bedroom, one bath apartment. It was a small space. Keenan didn't have a living room. He sacrificed his living room was to start The living room was the office space. That's yep. where our desks were and the editing machines. We were both just finishing up college. I was dating someone and they were six hours away. So it was a long distance. Keenan was single at the time. We had very little risk. We didn't have kids. We didn't have marriages at that point. The timing was perfect and the discussion around it was if we're ever gonna do it, now's the time. Uh, and we had the time to invest. So that was another big reason for us too, because we knew there was spirit in us to build a company. And we knew that then was the best time that we could ever ask for. And we went into it without, you know, the, the mindset was there's no plan B, like this is what we're going to do. And, uh, you know, that's a really important aspect of like starting a company and, you know, really putting all your time and energy into it rather than constantly in the back of your head going, oh, well, you know, it could be better if I was doing this where, we went into it and it was, there was no plan B. There was no, if we fail, yeah. it was only how long does it take? We kind of saw an opportunity here in North Dakota to pursue being a high-end video production company of the state. A lot of the work was getting outsourced to Minneapolis and Denver and they were bringing companies in. And we really wanted to fill that void that was taking place in the state. Uh, kind of through just our own network, landed a couple of uh, really small jobs in, in the early days. Uh, we said yes to everything that came through the door that was video related. And one thing when we started Threefold was we wanted to do video and only video and be the best and be really, really good at it. And so um, it, even though Caleb has a de degree in graphic design and at the time we built our own website, we didn't want to get bogged down uh, with stuff we wouldn't, didn't want to be doing five years from now. And that was a big decision in the beginning was Anything that comes in the door that's video related, we're gonna do it. It'll help um, pay the bills, but it'll help buy more gear. And that was a lot of our mindset back then. When you start out, and especially, like I said, we had minimal gear, we didn't have space. We had a lot of future investments to make to make the, the business a thing. So it required us making little to no money. And on top of that, you're a new business. So it's you're having to drum up work and find work and your prices aren't where they you want them to be or where they need to be to be sustainable. So you kind of have to be able to wade through the crap a little bit to get farther down the road. And, and that just takes some time. We didn't have a marketing budget, but we spent our marketing budget on investing in the projects that we were working on. We wanted to over deliver every project that we did because everything that we do is an advertisement for ourselves. And if our work is good enough, People will ask questions and talk about it and go, oh man, who made that? And slowly like projects started growing and growing and getting uh, a little bit bigger and bigger. A big turning point for us was starting to say no to the projects that we didn't want to do or they weren't a good fit for us. And so um, that was when we started uh, really spending more time on the projects that were important to us. We started very scrappy. The first camera and the only camera we had starting out was a Canon 6D Mark I. Um, and some basic video equipment, a field recorder, um, I think 
one wireless law offset, and I don't, I don't even know if we had a shotgun mic at that point. Some collapsibles. Yeah, it, it was very basic. We didn't have a lot. It's okay to start small. I don't think you have to have everything and all the equipment and every piece of gear that you think you need to get started. So. And kind of speaking on that, the question here was, uh, no one can start with all the gadgets at the beginning, so what would your suggestion to start this as a career? Something that we, we were very adamant about and would be a suggestion of, we didn't buy anything that we didn't have cash for. We didn't take out any loans. Um, and we were very diligent about, you know, only spending the money we have and not putting a bunch of money on credit cards or, or something else to have the next new piece of gear. I think it's really easy to go down a very slippery slope when you're doing loans on equipment. And I think it can hurt a business long term when all of a sudden the payment seems small for a camera, for a lens set, lights. Um, but then once they start stacking up, it can get pretty overwhelming and it can hurt a business. You know, if you're starting out and you're looking for equipment gear, my suggestion would be, I wouldn't look into buying stuff that depreciates super fast. Buying the 20 or 10, 20, $30,000 camera, unless you can be billing that out every day, it's not worth doing. I think it's better to look at investments that you can make into the company that you know are going to last a long time. Things like C stands haven't changed in forever. And the value of a C-stand isn't changing and you'll be able to use it for the next 20, 30 plus years easily. I look at some of the cameras, they basically are worthless in a matter of a few years or they, they lose so much value and drones were notorious for this. I think when we got our Inspire One raw, we didn't even sell it for half what we paid for it, yeah. like two years later. So I would say look at investments that will hold their value um, and stay away from investments that depreciate really fast because you can buy a $1,200 camera. That's amazing today. Like the pocket 4k produces great video and you're not having to break the bank on a 10,000 or $20,000 camera. So yeah. And then a, two years after we started about, we got this first side of the space that we're in the studio tour uh, can show you that. Um, and it was shortly after we moved in there that we uh, brought on Zach and Adam on the team. They were hired within about one month uh, of each other in 2016. That was a big first step for us, bringing two new employees on basically at the first or at the same time. So, you know, that was uh, obviously scary. Well, and if it makes people feel better, I, I know that there's been people that ask how you bring on more people and how you grow a team. That's another question. So we can kind of go into that, but diving into that, when we first, when Adam and Zach joined, we had landed a big job and we looked at it and we, said we can pay for everyone's salaries for a couple months but beyond that hopefully we can get more jobs so it, it's not like we were um fully prepared it was a little scary not knowing what was going to happen after that job had finished or what jobs would come in next um but you kind of have to just take that leap it was definitely a risk but it was a, a calculated risk and we were um you know willing to take that on and for us it was always we want to make sure that everybody else gets paid first and so um, that was something that we talked about. Like if we can't make payroll, um, the guys get paid first before, before we do. So, and a great bit of advice that we got was you should hire employees before you need them because it takes time to train them in. It takes time to get to know them and kind of learn the way that you work and you know, the systems that you do. Uh, how do you know that it's better to hire on people and start a production studio? You know, I'll, I'll go, I don't know if this is the intent of the question, but, um, it is very common in the film industry to hire on contractors, um, you know, hire on for each job. Um, and one thing we were really passionate about was we wanted to build a team. We wanted to work with people that we enjoyed working with every day. And we didn't do a lot of contract work right away, really hardly at all. Um, and we were really dead set on bringing people to become a part of the team. And when you get to working with people every day, in and out of shoots all the time, um, there's an efficiency that you gain by, by doing that. You work, you work better together, you work quicker together. And I, I think that's a huge benefit, even though it's not a total norm in the film industry, but. Yeah, definitely you know. abnormal, but our team has a way more efficiency when we're on set. Uh, and understanding of how we're going to set stuff up. Uh, people are grabbing the gear off the grip truck before somebody even needs it or before they even are asking for it. So um, there's a level of efficiency that comes with working with the team in and out. 
One other uh, big thing that we did want to cover in this video is, um, you know, occasionally we do have some companies uh, reach out to us to do a product review of uh, gear or something. Um, and some of that we want to start doing giveaways for. We want to know what kind of gear would be valuable to you guys and we could potentially reach out to some of those companies too. So um, is it, you know, a tripod? Is it a monitor? Is it uh, Audio microphones, gear. Yeah. Uh, batteries? Let us know. Let, let us know what you guys want. Yeah, let us know what you guys would be interested in in a giveaway. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Keenan. And I'm Caleb. See you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>